Hello my kin, my name is Ken Ping, but you can call me Kin, and today I have a massive tier list for you all, and it's a tier list on Mortal Kombat, and characters that I think should be in Mortal Kombat 12, and shouldn't be in Mortal Kombat 12. These are all guest characters, um, so characters from other fandoms, and I'm covering all the ones that um, have already been in a Mortal Kombat game as well. So I have got 139 characters, including characters that have been in Mortal Kombat games before. And I have amassed my tier list. And we are going to rank, well I'm going to rank every single one of them in this list in order of really want in Mortal Kombat game, shouldn't be or don't want in Mortal Kombat game. I'll try not to be too biased. I think I've got my script here in front of me and I don't think it's that biased. I will just do a slight warning though. There are a lot in F. There are a lot of characters that people think should be guest characters in a Mortal Kombat game, but they just shouldn't. So we'll go with this. Um, part one here will cover 46 characters. And if you're wondering, yes, it is all in alphabetical order. So, um enjoy i guess people with ocd that's me um but we've got 46 characters to rank in this first video and i'll be doing 46 in the second and 47 in the third so this is going to be a three-part um three-part series tier list video just because i think it's a big it's a big tier list so i've got to take my time i don't want this to be one like really long video i'd rather put it out and little bits there's not really much else to say um i know all these characters some i know really well some i don't know really well um i think everyone watching this video should know most of these characters they're pretty they're all pretty iconic pop culture characters so yeah we should just get into it i guess um try not to be biased lots of them will be low lots of them will be high um yeah let's start Okie doke, so first we have 2B and 9S. So I think that if you were to have 2B in a fighting game, you kind of have to have 9S with her. I mean, they're a very popular duo and they work together well. Like the whole game is focused around them like being together. You know, that's the, that's the point of the game. And I know that 2B is in Soul Calibur. I think it's, I think it's Soul Calibur 6 she's in and she's in there without 9s and um, that upsets me. Because whenever I see these two, they, they gotta be together. I would really like to think that if 2B was put into a game, which I think personally would be really cool, that they'd have 9S with her. It would be really cool, and it could be like a Ferator thing, you know, with 9S on screen, but the whole time he's not actually the one taking damage, and 2B's the one taking damage and acting like the actual character. I thought that would be cool, um, or it could be like Noob Cybot, you know, when he calls in his shadow to do an ability kind of thing, you know, 9S just runs on screen and helps 2B with a attack. Either way, I personally think it would be really cool to see another fighter duo like Ferator in Mortal Kombat. I think they're probably one of the best picks as well, I can't think of many other duos that would work well in a Mortal Kombat game. Um, I think their moveset would be okay, I mean, I can't really imagine it being that awesome. It, it would be okay, but I would really like to give them an S. I would really like to start this video off with an S, but I feel like, personally, the fact that their moveset might be a bit average or just like a overdue of 2B's moveset from Soul Calibur, I don't think it would be that interesting. So I'm going to give them an A, like just on the verge of kind of getting an S. Well, for me anyway, but I'm going to give them an A. I imagine they'd have cool gear, they'd have cool intros. I mean, they wouldn't be like really cool. They wouldn't be as cool as some of the other characters' intros and stuff here. But I imagine they'd be pretty cool. So 2B and 9S, get an A. Okay, next we have Agent 47. He's the agent from the Hitman games. I only know him from the games. I think there are movies. I've never watched them though because they look really bad. But I haven't actually played any of the games before. I would like to play the games, but um, I've got plenty to play. I've just started Red Dead. Um, so yeah, I've... some other time, you know, I'll probably never get around to it. But I think he's a pretty badass character. I feel like he isn't really... Uh... This is going to sound kind of bad, but he isn't really like a fighty guy, if you know what I mean. He... 
like we all know that he could beat us up you know he could beat any single one of us up but i feel like he's too efficient to be in a mortal Kombat game he would he would be cool he'd have some cool moves but he'd just be way too efficient you know like the whole point of the hitman games is him taking people out he's a hitman he just takes people out he doesn't really like i know he can fight but like 20 minute long fights against characters like scorpion and sub-zero that's not really his thing right so i think it would be cool i think he'd have some cool intros he would have some cool like maybe command grab sort of moves um he doesn't really suit Mortal Kombat though. I don't think that he really suits fighty games in general. Um, I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna give him a D. I'm gonna give him a D because he would be kind of lame. Like, he go he goes up behind people and he chucks them off rooftops and balconies and stuff. That's what he does. He doesn't, like, go up to them and have a long fight with massive powers and stuff like that, you know? So, I'm gonna give him a D okay so alien is next and alien is the first of the characters that have already been guest characters so i'm gonna rank alien on if i want to see alien in a mortal kombat game again basically so alien was in mkx and sadly i've actually never played as alien before i think that it would be pretty cool to see alien come back in mk12 you know with improved graphics and everything i know that nether realm probably would never bring back a character that has already been a guest character you know and even though i am a really big fan of alien i feel like there's not much else that they could actually do they've got the three different move sets three different variations in mkx and i feel like they've they've just captured everything that you could do with alien that like, they couldn't actually do much more and we will always have mkx like we will always have mkx there for people that want to go play alien they'll just play mkx so i think i personally would like them I would like Alien and MK12, you know, so I can play them and have better graphics and stuff like that. So I'm going to give Alien a C, putting it in the middle because personally I kind of want Alien in MK again and having Alien in MK again would be really cool, but it's already been done and we've, we've got MKX, so C. Okay, Aquaman. Now, I have always personally felt that Aquaman has the potential to be very dark and realistic, but he's never really portrayed that way. I mean, how cool would it be to see a one-handed, long-haired Aquaman beating the shit out of people with his trident? Like, he has so much goddamn potential. And I'd just be really happy if they copy and pasted the moveset from Injustice 2 into MK12. I mean, it's a good moveset. I enjoyed playing Aquaman in Injustice 2, so I think it'd be cool. Uh, lots of people will probably um, disagree with me, and that's okay. I, I just think that Aquaman would be really cool if he was really dark and gritty, you know, with that um, harpoon on his um, stump and everything. I, I think it would be great. And I have faith that Netherrealm would bring us the gnarly badass Aquaman that we deserve. I think it would be cool, and I may be a bit biased, but I'm going to put him in B. And the reason I'm putting him in B is because I know that we could have him in a Mortal Kombat game because he's a DC character and he hasn't been a guest character before. So hopefully, you know, we get him in MK12. I mean, probably not because he's a superhero, of course. He, he isn't going to be doing fatalities and stuff, but I think a realistic, gritty Aquaman would be pretty damn cool. Bro, Ash from Evil Dead is next. I've watched... What ones have I watched? I've watched the first Evil Dead... And I've watched the second Evil Dead, and he has a chainsaw as a hand, so this guy gets at least a C. If you've seen the Evil Dead movies, you'll know that Ash can take a beating and still fight back. Keep in mind he fights demons. I don't think many of the Mortal Kombat characters are going to be anything too new for him. I think that his boomstick, aka his sawn off shotgun and his chainsaw hand, would make him a pretty cool character and he would have some good moves like sticking his chainsaw into someone and then shooting them with a boomstick or something like that it'd be pretty cool i imagine he'd be a bit of like a mix of leatherface and terminator and i, I imagine it'd be pretty fun he'd have some good gear i know for sure he would have some good intros cinematics and outros and all that lot so i'm gonna give him an a I think there is a good chance that he could be in a Mortal Kombat game. I think it would be really cool to see him in a Mortal Kombat game. And I can imagine that lots of other people think the same as I do. Because he is a great character. He's really cool. Um, so A. Okie doke. Next we have Chosen Assassin from XCOM. 
I'm guessing that a lot of people aren't going to know who this character is, so I'll try and make it quick, give a brief background story on the character. The Chosen are a trio of elite aliens in the game XCOM 2 War of the Chosen, and the one here is the Assassin. She's the first one you fight and is quite frankly an absolute badass. She has the ability to go invisible and cause large shockwaves with her sword and she's she's just badass. I think that she would be pretty cool in an MK game because she's a very sneaky and fast fighter and would have some pretty cool close to mid-range attacks and she'd have some good counters like Scarlet's, what's it called? I think it's the dagger dance that Scarlet has. I imagine she'd have some real cool abilities like that. For some reason, I just imagined that she would play a lot like Scarlet. I don't know why, but um, I'm going to give her a C. Just because I think she's not as well known as all the other characters on this list. So the chances of her actually being in a Mortal Kombat game is pretty low. But I would like it. And I imagine if more people knew who the character was, they would like it as well. Because she's a cool character and probably the best villain in the whole XCOM storyline. Okay, next up is Asterix. Like, I'm, I'm a huge fan of Asterix and the Asterix comics and all the characters in them. So I decided to put him in this list, even though I actually don't think that he would be a good character to have in Mortal Kombat. This is mainly just me saying that I want Asterix in a fighting game, like Soul Calibur or Street Fighter or something like that definitely one of the more cartoony ones. I think that Asterix really does have the potential to have a good moveset and be an entertaining fighting character and I would love to see some of his cool like intros and outros and cinematics and gear pieces and everything. I bet they would be really cool and he's such a cool iconic character but um yeah not Mortal Kombat material that's for sure. He's way too lighthearted for that, and I'd hate to see him get beaten up. So, I'll give him an E, and he only gets the E instead of the F, because I want him in a fighty game. So, be slightly biased there, and put him in E. Okay, next up is Big Boy Atrocitus. Atrocitus definitely has potential to be a brutal character in a fighty game. We've seen him in Injustice 2, and he was a badass in that. Because I'm such a big fan of DC and just Atrocitus in general, I think that getting him from Injustice 2 and making him more lethal and then putting him in Mortal Kombat 12 would be great. They would have to keep Dexter though. Whenever I play Atrocitus, who's my second character after Wonder Woman, I always use Dexter. He's really fun to bring in. But anyway, I imagine that some of his fatal blows and brutalities and stuff would just be awesome nether realm would just go to town with some awesome red lantern brutalities and everything um i'll put him in b next to the other dc character here the same kind of reasons he's already been in injustice 2 having him in a mortal kombat game is is plausible but probably wouldn't happen but i would like it so he gets a b Oh, okay, we got another DC character here, and this is Batman Who Laughs. Now, his skin for Noob Cybot in Mortal Kombat 11 was pretty cool. I never played Noob Cybot, so I'd never really used it, but I did see it, and I did appreciate the coolness of it. I think since we haven't seen the Batman Who Laughs in an Injustice game yet, it would be really cool to see him appear in a Mortal Kombat game. He's a mix of the Batman and Joker, so he is brutal enough to be in a Mortal Kombat game. He would also have some really cool moves with like his little demon robins he has and everything. But I imagine that his weapons and the robin demons would all make for some really cool moves and cinematics and everything. Initially in my script right here it says give him a B, but now I'm thinking about what I said about Atrocitus and Aquaman I'm like, I think he's one step above so we're gonna give him an A. I think he deserves an A. From one Batman to another we have the Batman Bruce Wayne here and bro we all know that Batman is the best superhero but he's not Mortal Kombat material. I mean it would be kind of cool to see him be the like that one character that doesn't do fatalities and stuff but then his character would be kind of boring. I think that if we're ever going to see a Batman in a Mortal Kombat game it's going to be the Batman who laughs or like Flashpoint Batman who is in this list. So Batman's an awesome character but he, he's not Mortal Kombat material. If Oh my god, we, we have a Batman theme going on. Michael Keaton. Uh, okay, Beetlejuice. He is freaky, man. And I remember watching the movie when I was younger and just wondering what the hell was going on. I mean, I 
think I thought it was good. It's been a while since I've watched, so I'd have to go back and watch it. But this guy can do anything. He can warp reality and he has all sorts of random powers. While this is really cool, I still can't actually imagine him going hand to hand with someone like Johnny Cage or Scorpion or something like that. He does have regeneration and teleportation, which would kind of make for some cool abilities. And he would realistically be able to survive everything that gets thrown at him. I just feel like it wouldn't suit i'm not really sure where to put him i i just can never imagine him in a mortal kombat game so i'm gonna give him an f yeah yeah i'm gonna give him an f yay the first walking dead character we have beta here and beta is arguably one of the most badass hand-to-hand -hand fighters in both the comics and the tv show alongside characters like you know michonne daryl jesus and negan I really like Beta. He is definitely my favorite Whisperer and I much prefer him to Alpha just because he's a better character. I think that having him in Mortal Kombat would be pretty damn awesome and he would have some great attacks with his two hunting knives and you know he could have abilities where he brings zombies in and other Whisperers and stuff. I'm not entirely sure how Netherrealm would actually make the most of that ability, but I do have a lot of confidence in them nailing it. I mean they nailed Robocop in a fighting game like we got to give these guys some credit. Um, I imagine he has some cool outfits too, but I can't imagine his moveset would be very interesting other than like whisperers and zombies and stuff. Like just two hunting knives. We've kind of seen that before with Rambo and other characters like Kano and everything. I would like it and I can see it happening, so I'm going to give him a B, but he doesn't get A or S because, well, his moveset could potentially be really boring. Okay, Black Manta. Now, come on everyone this guy needs to be in a mortal kombat game even so more than aquaman so he's getting at least an a the thing is basically everything i said about aquaman goes for black manta black manta is the best character in the aquaman movie and would be a great addition to the cast of mortal kombat alongside all these badass characters he just has the potential to be so brutal and have such great moves and cinematics and everything and i imagine him being a maybe playing a bit like cabal I don't know why I think that, but I imagine he'd play like that. And he's just such a cool character. He's got so many weapons, abilities, and stuff. I'm going to give him an A. I'm not going to give him an S, because he's not like one of my personal favorites. Not many people are going to get in the S category, but I'm going to give him an A. Black Panther. Okay, I'm going to be controversial right now. I say that the Black Panther movie was an average movie. You know, it wasn't awesome. It wasn't bad. It just it was average. But that's not saying that Black Panther isn't a badass character. He is pretty cool, but I feel like he doesn't really have much that actually makes him truly different to other characters. Like, if he was in a fighting game, he wouldn't really have much. Sure, he has a great suit and some cool claws, but that that's kind of it. I imagine that he'd just be kind of boring to play. And when I compare him to everyone else we have in this list, uh, I just can't put him that high. I'm, I'm going to give him an F, just because I... Think he doesn't have much that actually makes him different blade blade is really cool man he is really really cool and i love all those movies i only know him through the movies though so i'm not exactly sure what he is like in the comics but i don't really care about the comics because he is really badass in the movies he's half vampire so i feel like it would be cool if you could have two vastly different variations of him like one where he is mostly human and one where he has kind of given into some vampire side and does more vampire abilities and of course he would have some great skins i mean who are we kidding this guy has got awesome suits he should be in the matrix or something and i feel like he could fit mortal kombat you know like i feel like neither realm could fit him into mortal kombat he'd fit in pretty well you know if there are vampires in mortal kombat and fighting against characters like scorpion and even Cabal and Kano wouldn't really be much of a problem for him. He's, he is pretty badass. So I'm going to give him an A. We've got a lot in A so far. Bonnie, okay. Now, for some reason, people think that a lot of the animatronics from the FNAF games should be in Mortal Kombat. And I can, I can kind of understand where they're coming from, but only really the nightmare animatronics would actually suit being a fighter game since they've, they've just got more stuff that could do damage. The animatronics from like FNAF 1, 2, and 3 just they just, they scare people and then what else can they do? Punch? You know, I feel like they would not suit a Mortal Kombat game because they would just be boring and not really have much. Bonnie is from FNAF 1, so no. 
I'm, I'm giving him an F. Right. Buzz Lightyear. I'm pretty sure you should all know that this is a joke character. Buzz Lightyear would never suit a Mortal Kombat game. I just think it would be kind of funny to hear him say to infinity and beyond and then just open up someone's chest cavity. Since I do want him and just for the funniness of it and he could actually suit another fighty game i'm gonna give him an e caesar now he's from planet of the apes i've actually never seen any of the planet of the apes movies which i kind of regret they look really cool and caesar looks cool as well but for mortal kombat i'm not sure i mean he's a smart monkey with a machine gun and that and that is pretty badass i think he does have the potential to be a pretty cool character because the Planet of the Apes movies do seem kind of dark at times, you know, and, and he, he is a he is an ape, so he's pretty strong. Personally, I'm not hanging out for it. I think he would be okay. Um, I'm going to give him a D. The Candyman. The Candyman is a pretty cool character, and I can so imagine him actually being a pretty good fighter in a fighty game. And considering that he's a brutal killer, there is no other fighty game that better, that better suits him than Mortal Kombat. I think that with his hook and maybe the use of the bees that he's flying around him a lot of the time, he would have some pretty cool moves. I only think that his cinematics and costumes would be a little bit boring. He's not an entirely boring character. He does have potential with his hooks and bees, but I think for now, I'm just going to give him a D because he doesn't really seem like the, you know, hand-to-hand -hand combat fighter character that Mortal Kombat characters should be. Captain America. I really don't like Captain America, so I think this is going to be a little biased, but I truly don't think that he is Mortal Kombat material. I mean, he's not a killer, and he doesn't have much in the way of cool moves. I mean, he would have some nice shield attacks, I guess, but it's probably nothing we haven't seen Wonder Woman do in one of the Injustice games. I think I would, I, I like, I want to put him in F, but I know that he would have some cool outfits, and he would have some good gear, and maybe a couple good intros, so I'm going to give him an E. Okay, Chica, what I said for Bonnie is basically the same for Chica. I see the idea behind it, but it just wouldn't work, so F. Okay, Chucky. Chucky is a doll, and I don't really think that having a small child-looking doll in a Mortal Kombat game would really be a good idea. Plus, as far as I'm aware, he only has a knife most of the time, so I think he would be pretty boring as a playable character. And he's small. I don't think we will ever see smaller people in a Mortal Kombat game because of the simple fact that it's just so gory. Um, maybe make him uh, equipment for the Towers of Time or something like that. You know, just Chucky just jumps in and starts stabbing someone's face. I think that would be cool. But as a fighter, no. So, if yes. Chun-Li. I've seen people suggesting Chun-Li to appear in an MK game quite a lot for some reason. And I kind of get that she's a cool character and she has cool powers but i feel that since she is one of the biggest characters in street fighter if not the biggest character in street fighter the chance of her coming into mortal kombat as a guest character is pretty low and i don't really think she's brutal enough to be in the game that being said i do think that it would be kind of cool to see her in the mortal kombat franchise because she would have some awesome gear and i imagine her moveset would be pretty cool it probably wouldn't be anything we haven't seen in street fighter though so i'm gonna give her an e conan i feel like if kotal khan was in a mortal kombat game conan wouldn't really be a great choice of guest character i mean kotal has conan skins in mortal kombat 10 like kotal and conan are kind of the same character in some aspects not overall he would be kind of cool though, but I imagine he'd reuse some of Kotal's moves with a big sword. Even if Kotal wasn't in the game, I feel like Conan might be a little bit boring, though I would really love to see his character with, with the awesome graphics we all know Mortal Kombat 12 is going to have. I think I can't put him that high because he would be maybe kind of boring, so I'm going to give him a D. Connor from Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed 3 is one of the two Assassin's Creed games that I've actually played and while he isn't as cool as Cassandra from Odyssey I think that he is a good character. He's my favorite out of what you would consider to be the original Assassin's Creed games but that's probably just bias talking. Anyway I really like his weapons and overall aesthetic. Like imagine some of the really awesome attacks and just cinematics he would have, it'd, it'd be pretty cool. I also think that it would be cool to have another Native American character in the game, one that's more stealthy and stuff, when Nightwolf is real upfront brutal, he can be more stealthy and kind of arranged, you know? I think it would be cool, I think it would 
truly be really cool. So I'm going to give him an A. Okay. Corvo Etano. I think that's how you say his last time. I'm not entirely sure. So sorry if I messed that up. I think that'd be really cool to have him in a Mortal Kombat game. If you don't know who he is, he's the main protagonist of the Dishonored games, made by the people who have made Deathloop. Corvo is basically as badass as they come. I think his insanely good stealth and really good hand-to-hand -hand combat skills would give him the potential to have so many cool moves. He also has the use of swords, pistols, and a crossbow, which give him even more opportunities to have such a diverse moveset. He also has lots of other gadgets and abilities that enhance him you, that you'd know of if you played the Dishonored games. I just think he would be such a good pick for a Mortal Kombat game, and he would look badass and not entirely out of place when you consider there's characters like Kabbalah and everything that have the same kind of face mask thing. Honestly, I'm going to put him really high up. He isn't as popular as other characters on this list, but he deserves a high rating, and I think... He is going to be our first S for the video. I think Corvo deserves that S tier. Okay, fair warning to you all. All the Furious Five from Kung Fu Panda are in this list, as well as Poe and I think Tai Lung. So don't say I didn't warn you. Crane is one of, for the lack of a better word, more humanoid characters amongst the Furious Five. That really puts him above Mantis and Viper, who could probably never be their own fighters because they just aren't humanoid. I think Crane would be really interesting in a fighting game, but I don't think Mortal Kombat is really the game to explore what kind of moves he could have in. He's a kid character after all, as are all the Furious Five. So I think I'm going to go by the same logic I went asterisks and buzz light yeah and just give him an e no if damian wayne i freaking love damian wayne he is one of my three favorite dc characters and i don't mean the stupid injustice damian wayne i mean the proper damian wayne the proper good damian wayne from the comics while he's not killing people nowadays when he was young he used to be absolutely merciless showing that he can easily kill and it isn't really a big thing for him the only problem is that he is a kid, and like I touched on with Chucky, having small people in MK is probably a bad idea, but an aged up Damien Wayne, I think that would definitely work. The only problem is when he's aged up, he'd probably be Batman, and Batman doesn't kill, so it's hard. It's really hard. I'm not sure where you put him, because being a child is kind of part of his character. Having an aged up one, I, I just I feel like it wouldn't really be Damien Wayne, if you know what I mean. I'm gonna, ah, ah, damn it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him a C. Okie doke, another DC character, Darkseid. I feel like Darkseid really does have the potential, as lots of these characters do, <laughs> to be awesome in a Mortal Kombat game, but for some reason it just, just doesn't really interest me. He was cool in Injustice, but do we really need him in Mortal Kombat? He would have some, like, pretty cool brutalities and fatalities I, I know that for sure but it wouldn't really be different to other stuff we haven't seen before i mean laser eyes portals big punches have kind of all been done before but he would have some good cinematics that's for sure so i'm not sure if he was if he was put into mortal Kombat, i know that neither round would change it up a bit you know give him some different moves and everything but i'm just not sold on the idea i'm gonna give him a d darth vader it would be kind of weird to have Darth Vader in a fighty game, but like I'd said before, Netherrealm made Robocop a fighting game character. Considering that, I'm 100% sure that Vader can be a fighty game character. I would just love to see the hallway scene from Rogue One as one of his intros and the cool force powers and everything that he would have. It would just be all really menacing and one of his throws could just be him force choking the opponent. I imagine he wouldn't really have many different costumes though, but that doesn't matter. One costume is enough for Darth Vader. Um, I'm going to be, I'm not sure if I'm being biased here. I, I think most people would really like to have him in a Mortal Kombat game. He is a pretty awesome character, so I don't think I'm biased. I don't think I'm biased when I'm putting him in S tier. I, I think Darth Vader deserves S tier. Seeing him in a Mortal Kombat game would just be awesome, man. It would be so cool. Another Walking Dead character. We've got Daryl here. Now, while I think that Daryl would be a better pick for an MK game than, like, say, Negan, I 
don't actually think that he would be that interesting. He would almost play exactly like Rambo, and Rambo isn't really that fun to play, personally. He is cool, but meh. I think that someone like Michonne and Beta are just way more interesting. I'll give him an E, because I know that he could be an okay fighting game character. He's not, he's not F tier. Davy Jones. I think he's the only Pirates of the Caribbean character in this list. Honestly, I can't remember. But David Jones is real cool, and his look alone should be enough to put him in an MK game. Imagine Netherrealm making their own Davy Jones. It would be pretty cool. <laughs> but it probably wouldn't look as good as the movies. Um, and yes, I do know that Davy Jones can't walk on land. But I think a way to fix that would just be that Netherrealm just make a puddle of water that follow him around. That way they could also give him some moves to do with water, even though I don't think he has any control over water in the movies. I think that his look would obviously make some awesome cinematics, and he does have potential to have a cool move set with his his different types of hands, one with tentacles, one a crab claw. I think it'd be pretty cool. I'm gonna give him a B. Next up, Deadpool. Would be cool, but he is just another guy with guns and swords. He does have a really good healing factor though, so he could realistically survive everything that happens in Mortal Kombat. But his move set wouldn't really be that interesting, I don't think. But because he's one of the only characters that would actually like survive a fatality, I'm going to give him kind of high. Because he is a good fighter after all. I imagine he would have some good movesets. Um, I'm going to put him in the middle. I'm going to give him a C. Deathstroke, in my opinion. The better Deadpool. <laughs> now that they're not so... I, I don't know why I said that. I think if he was to be made a playable character in Mortal Kombat, in a Mortal Kombat game, he would have a moveset that would be a mix of Kano, Aaron Black, and Jackie. I kind of get that vibe off him. He would be really fast, but also have like a real solid play style, you know? Like his punches would actually feel real like hefty, even, even though he's a really fast character and he'll move around really fast as well. I see no reason why he shouldn't be in a Mortal Kombat game, since he wasn't in Injustice 2, which sucks. His suits and intros would be good. Um, I think since he doesn't really bring anything new to Mortal Kombat, I'm going to give him a C. Demi Gorgon. Okay, don't attack me, but I've only ever watched like two episodes of Stranger Things, and I don't remember a Demi Gorgon being in those. I do like the look of it, however. I think that it has the possibility of being cool, but I'm not hanging out for it, and it could end up being really lame. I would rather have Alien back for Mortal Kombat 12 and Aliens in C, so it's going to be lower than C. That being said, it would have some kind of cool moves, maybe some good command grabs, but other than that, mm, I'm going to give him an E. Dr. Fate. I really like Dr. Fate, but I don't see the need to have him in a Mortal Kombat game. He was awesome in Injustice 2, and I just don't see the point of putting him in another game at the moment. They kind of nailed him in Injustice 2, so yeah um it would be kind of cool to see a gory dr fate but i'd rather have a gory like aquaman or black manta so i'm gonna give him an f and that's just because he's kind of already been done and it just wouldn't be anything new dr manhattan i feel like this is such a missed opportunity dr manhattan would be awesome in a fighty game and considering that he can be very gory at times mortal kombat is probably the best pick he probably would work well in games like street fighter and tekken as well but i just think that mortal kombat is that just that tiny bit better of a choice because he can go all out with all his powers and everything i can't really imagine him having very many different outfits and gear pieces because he is like basically almost naked or literally naked the whole time but i do think that his moves would be cool so i'm going to give him an a because he just he'd be something different you know and he'd have lots of cool abilities and be able to like stop bullets like neo and everything you know i, I think it would be cool a third doctor dr fate dr manhattan and now dr strange i really do like dr strange i think that he would be a lot cooler in an mk game than dr fate would be I feel like Doctor Strange has the potential to be a really dark and grim character, just like I said with Aquaman and Black Manta. With his portals and his cool whip-like weapons that he can make, I imagine he would have some awesome basic combos and everything. And not to mention that eye of 
what's his face that he has and the awesome cloak dr strange simply has too much stuff so he he can't be boring he has so much stuff he can't be boring he would probably be one of the most interesting characters if he was put into a mortal kombat game as well so since he's just got so much stuff which could lead to so much variety i i gotta give him an a doom guy another character that just shoots shit but um he rips in tears as well so that makes up for it needless to say his brutalities and fatalities man they would just be so cool they would be really cool and he would have some pretty awesome moves with his like doom eternal stuff like the flamethrower and ice bomb and all his different array of guns i can totally imagine him having some awesome command grabs as well <sighs> i don't really think that there's actually much argument in this he he's just got to be an s he's he just has way too much stuff and he is way too badass to not be in mortal kombat he fits it perfectly this guy fights demons and have you seen some of the glory kills this it's just perfect he, he gets an s bro fuck draco malfoy man it, this kid is an idiot and i don't even know why some people fangirl over him he he's an asshole bro we all know that the only good characters in harry potter are well harry snape and professor mcgonagall angst lord gets an f edward scissorhands i've actually seen edward in a fair amount of lists but i really don't think that he's a good pick for a mortal kombat game or just a fighty game in general from what i know about him i haven't watched the movie he's actually not much of a fighter People probably only put him in lists because of his hands, but I don't really think that his character would actually make him a good pick, so I'm going to give him an F. Ellen Ripley. I'm not too sure about her. I think that she would be cool, but she wouldn't really bring much to a Mortal Kombat game. And, and of course, she is badass, we all know that, but I feel like she's not necessary in a Mortal Kombat game. I guess it would make sense to have her in, since characters like Rambo and Terminator have made an appearance. But I'm just not sold on it, and I think Sir Gordon Weaver isn't actually a fan of games that are really gory. So having someone that looks like her in it would just be, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't think it's a good pick. It would be okay. I'm not going to put an F. I'll just give her an E. <laughs> Finn, you kidding me, bro? What can this guy do? Ruin a trilogy? I, F. Flashpoint Batman. Okay, I said that Batman will not be good in a Mortal Kombat game, but Flashpoint, Batman, Big Thomas Wayne himself is almost perfect. He's Batman, but lethal, and with guns. I mean, doesn't get much cooler than that. <laughs> it's almost like DC made him so he could go into a Mortal Kombat game. Basically, imagine all of Batman's moveset from Injustice 2 with more guns and blood. That's what I imagine Thomas Wayne would be like. And some of the suits he would have would be awesome. And no doubt he would have some pretty cool intro dialogues as well. He is a good character. Like, he would have some good banter with some other Mortal Kombat characters, I feel like. I mean, especially, I don't know why, but I feel like him and Raiden would have some good banter. Um, I think he deserves an A. Same as Batman Who Laughs. Foxy. Last one of this video. When compared to the other animatronics from this game, Foxy does seem to have more potential to be a cool character. I mean... Bonnie and Chica, just there's, there's nothing that would make them good characters in a fighty game. He would have some okay moves to do with his hook and maybe a move with his running, but that's kind of all I can actually imagine him doing. There, I think there is some potential, like a teeny tiny like couple grains of sand potential. Uh, I'm going to give him an E. So with that everyone, that is going to wrap up our first video on this tier list. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I don't know how long I've been recording for, but it feels like I've been recording for a long time. So I'm going to finish it here. Hope you guys enjoyed. There are plenty of more characters to come, like lots more characters. I think somewhere around 100 more characters to come, maybe a little bit less. Um, and I will release two more videos later on, I guess. But for now, I'm going to take a break and we'll um, come back to this and do some more later. I hope you guys, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this. It has been really fun for me ranking these. And we already got three in S tier. That, that's awesome. Hopefully we get some more. I know for sure we're going to get some more in F tier. That's inevitable. But um, that's the end of this one. If you really enjoyed this video or found it interesting or want to go try out the tier list for yourself, 
please leave a like or maybe even consider subscribing that would be really nice and make me feel really happy and feel like i've done a good job um but for now everyone i will see you next time goodbye my kin